Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1, and welcome back to part 2 of my Let's Play of Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. So, last time. There was some stuff I didn't really talk about, kind of just did. Um, I think it's worthwhile that I go over it and explain exactly what I'm doing here. So, the reason I went for engineers is you have an obscene amount of production when you go for engineers, and it really helps you snowball into the recycler and then the trade depot very quickly thereafter. But if you've seen, the way that I line things up with the electromagnetic sensors, the African Union allowing me to build and explore early, and the virtue here, under virtues in knowledge, that gives you 30 science for, ex for expeditions, I am basically lined everything up so I can just get a ton of science as soon as I can to grab pioneering. Notice that pioneering is coming in three turns. Pioneering comes with the trade depot. This quests, the quest decision for it, allows it to go up to two production. Um, you combine that with the, four, the two production you're getting from the recycler, um, and you just have a ton of production in your city all at once. And if you've noticed, all these times are very similar. Pioneering is in three turns, the recycler is in four turns, and I'm growing pretty easily too. And the reason why you can afford to do this is Africa, probably more importantly than any other sponsor, is you get that extra 10% growth. You do. And I think it's only worth maybe... 6 food right now, but that can be a difference. That can be a lot. That can be, you know, the difference between a 4 food tile and a 3 food tile. And it helps, basically, as Africa. And that's why we can forego the vivarium for so long. Because Africa's great! God bless Africa! Alright, so let's keep on moving then. Alright, so this guy here is going to improve the biggest amount of food you have ever done seen. That is going to be a fat food tile when we're done with it. And we have our solar collector we still haven't launched. Uh, once we hit five um, people, or five citizens, uh, we might think about launching it. So last time we uh, we excavated the Xenomass tile here and gave us a good four experience in Harmony. We're going for a purity playthrough, but we're going to start with a Harmony kind of beginning. It's going to get us to Harmony level two, hopefully. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll go through our quests, we'll do what we can to get to Harmony level 2, probably pick up Alien Bio if we need it, and hopefully by the time we get Alien Sciences, which we thankfully got some science into, um, using a, I believe it was an expedition, uh, we'll be able to pick up the Xeno Nursery and the Xeno Fuel Plant. Maybe not in the capital, unless we acquire one of these tiles. So the fun thing is that when cities acquire tiles, um, it doesn't matter if they can work them. They're all still there, and you can use them to build certain buildings that require them. Um, I guess not, actually. These say you require a workable, improved source. So I guess we need to build a second city to get those sort of benefits. Oh well. Well, we can do that, certainly. So let's get this explorer healed up. The other benefit of Harmony Level 1 is going to be, of course, that our explorers will take no damage from Miasma, which means we can just kind of do expeditions like these, these dangerous ones, Miasma, all day long. 30 culture. Amazing. Alright. And the it also gives us 30 science. In progress or in entropy. We choose progress. That is how this build do. Okay, let's acquire the lab laboratory apprenticeship. And the virtue build here is the same that I use in my 5k 4m. Um, but we probably won't be going down might this time. Now the idea here is we want to gun our way to cohesive values. So all virtues there on are way easier to get. Then we're going to acquire a fourth one in tier 1 that allows us to hit this synergy bonus when we pick up two more in another tree. Um, it also acquires a synergy bonus up here, hit 5, and we get 10% more culture in this city, or in every city actually. Which means, you know, there you go. You can officially just do culture. It's easy. Even without artists. Alright, so we picked up chemistry and pioneering. It looks like we have a lot of signs left over. Uh, 26 to be exact. We can put that into anything we want. Um... What do we want absolutely pronto? Definitely the Vivarium, so you know what, let's just go there. We'll get, we're gonna need it eventually anyways. Alright, so we finished the crash line up north. That gave us 80 production. Boy oh boy, do I love duction. Let's actually swap that. So we get a trade depot in one turn as opposed to the worker. And everything's going swimmingly! Alright, let's get this guy home. We want to get our expeditions back up. And we'll go for another pass down here at all of these expeditions. Juicy, juicy. 
As soon as this guy's healed up, we'll send him home. I'll send him that way, too. Right, so she's mad. Uh, we'll apologize. And, of course, we just won't be making any expeditions near her. You know, there is a pass here, it looks. We actually haven't seen that tile, so maybe it is just a mountain. Um, I'll explore it on the way, though. We'll bring this guy down as we go, too. Oh, alright, so that's another landing. Far enough away that we don't really have to care. Hello, Elodie. Venez, mettez vous à l'aise. Franco Iberia vous accueille chaleureusement. Ah, you old lady, you. Now let's keep moving. Alrighty, so we finished our worker and our trade depot. So now we can basically build whatever we want. Um, I'm gonna go with the lab because this becomes three science on questing, and it really is just the biggest science for whatever you needed to do. That's very important. And we have another worker, so that's nice. Let's try to get our explorers home. I'll try to explore that tile, and if you know you can't get through, I'll just go back up that way. Alright, you can get through, but it's totally occupied by aliens. Let's just go up the other way. So we finished our food here, and that is a hella good tile early. Four food, two energy. Sign me up, sir. Let's try to get some generators up and running. That would be nice. We have hit five people, so we can probably launch our solar collector. The question is, where do we want it? We want it to surround the most number of people working. So, put it right dab smack in the center here. That'll be three tiles immediately, and then we can probably upgrade it to five. Uh, coast probably won't be used ever. Is there a better place for it, though? If we put it smack here, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Still five. Um, it's actually four. No, it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um, we don't actually have access to those tiles yet, so... I'm thinking that probably smack in the city is the, probably the best option. We'll have two generators here, and they'll produce a ton of energy. So, let's do that. Just like that, our energy production will be up. And let's try to get this guy home. Who do we have left? Alright, this guy. So, we'll send him eastward and get him around and down to those expedition sites. <coughs> My throat when is Hyrule dry. Died, he was the only one of his kind on the new planet. His howl echoed through the rifts and off the distant hills. That is still my favorite uh, quote from the game. It's just so evocative. Let's build our generators. All right, more xenomass, and let's get him out. This guy has got 30 health, so we can actually spend a few turns in my asthma getting home. So we picked up Ecology just like that, um, real quick. This is the strength of this strategy. We're turn 27 and we have three techs. Like, what the heck? What other strategy can you do that with? Um, let's... What would we like to pick up now? If we go engineering, we'll have access to the titanium on site. That's probably pretty important. We can also build the thorium reactor early, which is a very good investment. Computing is, a, is, a, is in my opinion, a very important tech to invest in early. Um, just because you want to get your networks up, because this is three science and one culture once you've quested for it. Physics is not so important unless you really need to get your rangers early. Um, and genetics, you just don't need the health quite yet. It's nice to have, uh, especially if you want to push for alien preserves. Um, or if you want to go for, you know, maybe the gene vault, or you're just playing purity. But we're not getting purity stuff quite yet. I want to really get those xeno nurseries and xeno fuel plants up. Um, and we don't have any use for this tech quite yet because we don't have any colonies out for it. Let's go ahead and try out engineering. Let's see what else is on the map as far as titanium is concerned. Let's get this guy out. And that guy in. We have explored quite a bit of this map already. Alrighty. Swap. 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 There we go. Alright, so this is the recycler choice. It's between 10% worker speed or one food. Now, we're playing purity. I don't think purity has a problem with food, so I'm going to go for with the worker speed. Worker speed is very important to me. Um, 
especially building roads quickly and just improvements and just like tons of stuff. I want to minimize the amount of workers I have and I love me some 10% worker speed. The temple doors of the protectorate are open. Hi there, Kabatha. You'll never be relevant. You're way out there. My two closest neighbors are the only relevant people, really. Alright, let's get him back to Magan. Also him. Let's get him down. I'm to minimize the damage he takes from Miasma just so I don't have to heal him when he gets down to these skeletons. We'll go for the alien skeleton next. Try our luck with experience. Alright, so... Stations are almost universally just, like, annoying. Um, the question is, are any of these actually useful or worthwhile? Red Sun is just going to be a lot of energy as it tears up. I think it... Does it max at 8? 10? I don't remember. It's one of the two. That can be useful. Um, we could use that to buy an explorer. Sorry, um, a colonist. That could be nice. Golden Bell is also very good. Food, energy, and culture. Look at the Golden Bell, you know? I like the variety. Alright, so that isn't a place that... We might not... That's kind of annoying, because I kind of wanted to settle there. It's got access to the Xenomass. Um, we've got Resolent around. It's a lot of desert, but I mean, the Vivarium can really make a city thrive. Um, in the desert. It's not too bad. And you have a lot of hills around, so... Fungus here, not too bad, especially if you get uh, Vivarium, that's a three food tile, after you've built the plantation. Yep, that's kind of annoying. We'll just wait for it to expire then. Alright. Because if you didn't know, um, stations do expire the longer you leave them alone. So, without a trade rate, that is. There we go. So we're doing quite swimmingly. Our energy return is at 8. We're making 8 science already. Uh, we have 4 culture. That's very good. Uh, without artists, that is. That's very good. Sputnik, Slavianska Federacja pozdrawia je tibia. How you doing, Kazi? Uh, Kazi's way out there. Not much of a risk. Not too scary. Um, another thing we might want to try to do is grab that progenitor ruin over there. That can be very helpful. Um, and these guys are pretty close to home that I expect that we'll get them. So I'm going to send that explorer out that way in the hopes of getting the progenitor ruin, and if he doesn't, oh well. It's also a good way to get some vision on territory that we won't have for a while. Alright, so this explorer. And send him back in. Get this generator up and running. Alright, so let's get the vivarium now so Magan can continue to grow. And these tiles start giving us uh, food and other stuff. There's the first generator up and running. Hopefully we get the trade depot quest if we didn't already, and that'll get our production even higher. Not yet. El pueblo nido de Sudamérica le da la bienvenida. Dude, Reggie's horrifying. Like, he's just a scary man. Where did he land? Alright, so he landed way over there, not a risk. Now, has everyone landed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's everybody. All right, we actually have a lot of room to just do what we got to do. I am happy about that. Hopefully, Tiangong and uh, the PAC don't, you know, entrench on our territory because we might have to take them out. But hopefully, we're just left to our devices. So we have another option to build a generator here. I'm not gonna. I like farms on these floodplains. That's just such a such a good tile. All right, so this guy has 80 health. We'll heal him up right here on the generator and heal him up right there and they're good and ready we'll send them down to grab these guys let's see if we can't get that progenitor one before it expires though that looks like a coast tile though that's a little worrying how are we supposed to get there let's see no harm in doing a bit of exploring hmm okay There's a polystralian. And we finished the generator here. That is a lot of energy. Four energy. We can probably start buffing a road now to where we want to plop down our first expansion. Um, I'm thinking the closer we can, you know, get to the PAC early, probably the better. 
Um, I can plop down a city that has access to two Xenomass. That would be good, but can is that possible? Doesn't look like it. Looks like you get one or the other. Um, mm, I could just kind of let that Xenomass sit, or we might try to plop down a city over here or something. I think this is probably the best spot right here. I like its proximity, two tiles to all these resources. And it really is a nice chokehold between these two canyons. So that might be a great spot. Even if it is a little close to Magan. Um, yeah, so we're going to start buffing a road in that direction. As soon as our workers are done doing what they got to do. For now, let's just move our Explorators out that way. Okay, and let's see... What's the big, what's the hold up with getting to that progenitor ruin? What's ours is yours. Yeah, sure, why not? You're not, oh, he's fairly close, but that's still a really big distance. I'm not really worried about anything. Now that's a mana core. They usually, oh shit, I just sent something. No, bad, bad boy. You're going up that way. That way. I don't like when I accidentally do that. Um, I don't see a nest, but it looks like it is across the sea. Um... We could probably pick up Planetary Survey right after Engineering. The thing is, Progenitor Ruins are so good that it's hard to just, like, give up the, you know, the chance at once. What's ours is yours. No. No open borders for you, sir. Instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. Engineering is great. Um, where, oh where, did all of that titanium spawn? I see one here. Anything else? Tons up here. Alright, and there is the PAC's first drop-down city. We'll be in right there. So, yeah, we are going to aggressively put a city up here, and... There's a lot of canyon over here. Um, we might want to try to plop one down over here sometime to impede any of their motion south. Because this is where we are making our claim. Let's grab Planetary Survey so we can actually get out to that Progenitor Ruin. And in the meantime, let's move... Oh, almost did the same mistake. Let's get him out here. This guy. Let's move him onto the float stone and heal him up while we wait for planetary survey. Okay, so now we can start buffing a road, looks like. Or we could remove the miasma. Um, I'm gonna buff the road. Road buffing, if you didn't know, is when you take... Um, I forgot to start the timer. Oh boy, we are a good amount of time into this video. Alright, so, road buffing, if you didn't know, is when you start building a road, you do like two turns in, and then you stop. The reason you stop is so you can maintain the energy per turn you have without having to spend any money on the road, but also have been building the road for a while. Alright. So I think what I'm going to go for now is the Thorium Reactor, because I really want to get a bunch of energy and be able to buy a colonist. That'll help our ex expansion out when we get to that point in this play. For now, let's get our two explorers out, and this one's healing. Hopefully we make it to that progenitor ruin in time. So now we're going to start buffing a road. I'm going to have this guy heal. For now. Just because he's a little injured and I don't want to start a road buff until, you know, our guys are really healed. Let's get these guys that away. It's surprising we're making this much energy return even with three floors. They are a big drain on an early economy. But we had a very good solar collector placement. Look at that. That is just mm, delicious. Let's keep rolling. This is quite good. We'll wait for Golden Bell to time out as we think of our uh, next places to plop cities down, etc. I just want to get all these uh, ruins, honestly. Oh, there's a Playstralian little guy. We could probably that honestly if it gets any closer um i'm all for crippling our neighbors oh i screwed up the buff oh well that's just one let's try not to screw up the rest i'll check that every turn from now on make sure we don't screw it up oh boy he's really there oh boy yep he settled right on me that's kind of obnoxious. All planets possess in the right as we get the tech, too. Okay. I see how it is, man. As long as I don't get booted, like, next turn. 
Uh, so we got planetary survey. All right, so the next question is what to do now? We could go for computing and try to get a network early. That's not a bad idea. Um, or we could go for alien bio and secure harmony level one. We still haven't gotten another um, affinity level related quest. I'm thinking probably the most secure option is genetics. We could go life forms, maybe pick up a alien preserve early. Those are very nice, uh, really gets your culture flowing early. Or we could go alien bio, you know. It's not a bad option. We could get the miasmic repulsor this way and really just remove miasma everywhere. Because we don't plan on really being a harmony um, sieve, so that's particularly useful for us. I think genetics is probably a good choice now, because it looks like our city's running out of... Um, Magana's running out of options. And so we'll undo this guy, because he's done with the buff now. The end of next turn. Get these two south. And next turn. Alright, so sweet. We can get this guy to the ocean now. And these two can go south. Lots of PAC combat rovers. Well, this road is buffed. And this one will be buffed at the end of next turn. And we are building to where? Right here, correct? Yeah, that looks good to me. Or we could go up one more tile. You know, let's go one more tile. Let's be a little ambitious. Um, let's get... yeah. Yes, this looks good to me. We'll build that guy there. And have him move this way. And build one there. We'll move him again next turn. That road is buffed. Cross the river now. And buff that road. Alright, so let's get these two explorers down. Okay. So, let's get this explorer down to that progenitor ruin. We're making good time, though. Alright, so we did finish producing a thorium reactor in Magan. We're now producing 14 energy a turn. That is obscene. And let's go ahead and grab... What's good? What's good right around now? I really don't want to start the colonist until we hit 7 or 8 population. Uh, we could build the clinic. That's, that's pretty good. The one science is always, you know, nice. Alright, so this road is officially buffed. Let's just do this one now. And where do we want to buff our next road? We could honestly do for a movement out this way. I'd like to build cities over here and compete this little wasteland area. This guy's only got 60 health and a 5 turn expedition. Let's do it. Alright, we got a quest. This is the Vivarium quest. I like to go for 3 food. I like my high food Vivariums. I really do. Now let's move this guy um, down here and we'll buff roads that way. Can we get to this progenitor ruin in time? That is the question. Nah, whatever. You're like way out there. I really don't care. Church of Dawn's Light. Well, that is a pain. That is a big pain. That is right where I wanted to put a city. In fact, right there. Uh, we'll have to wipe them out. I'm not really opposed to that. See, this is the thing about stations. They're just kind of in the way right now. If you could build right next to them, they wouldn't be a problem. I'd be like, oh, cool. There's a Church of Dawn's Lads in my territory. That's nice. Nope. No siree. They're annoying. Ten turns on this guy. Well, we'll have to remember, because it is a miasma tile. Uh, we'll have to remember to pull him out when he starts to get damaged. I won't be the fool who just let my man die. Let's buff that road. And this one just needs one more turn. And we made it to the progenitor ruin. Wonderful. So he actually finished the road, because I couldn't stop? Question mark? Whatever. Um, well, let's just move this guy back. And he'll start buffing roads eastbound with this worker here. So he's done there. Move him out. And we can finish getting the social moors, which will get us our synergy bonus here. So 
the question is that we'll have to consider next time we get a virtue is do we want to go down prosperity now or industry not really feeling might i just don't feel like there's enough aliens around to justify it and i just really really love industry combined with purity so that's probably what we're gonna do all right so here's the quest for um what do you call it the laboratory i just like the one science gets up to three science even though you think this might be the strategy the one strategy where this is good no i'm still not gonna go for it one science from labs is just too good to pass up and let's build this guy five turns we gotta keep an eye on this guy right here he will not finish it in time So where did we just finish buffing a road? I think right there. So we really want to go out this way, it looks like. So let's have them there, and there. We'll build roads next two turns. All right, so we finished our clinic. Um, I'm glad we're getting genetics next turn, because we'll need it soon to really just get our health up. And what to do now? Um, we can build a trade convoy now. It would be a good... Uh, investment for when we do get our colonists, uh, which should be soon. Um, another thing we could do is start building some soldiers. Uh, it's a good investment, it's protective, it's just a good idea. I suppose, um, but the repair facility is definitely the best way to do that, so you know, let's go ahead and grab that now. Looks like our Union Explorer gave us a Raptor Bug, which can be very useful. Um, it's pretty early. Still early game, I'd say, so that might be a good idea. Let's just do a little bit of exploring with him. And I think it's probably time to kill some, start killing some of our explorers for energy return instead. So, what did we just get? We finished genetics off. I'm going to go early in life forms. I like the early, uh, you know, the extra little culture it gives me. Let's do that. But it looks like we have hit our time limit, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.